Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Christ is in our midst. Yes, we hear the words of our Lord, words of holy terror that lead us to a place of true reflection. It would be a frightful state to imagine someone would hear these words and not at least for some moment tremble and not have some moment of pure and deep reflection to assess their state. The Lord says that all who would call on me, not all who say, Lord, Lord, but rather those who do the will of my Father. When we look at the patriarch Abraham and St. Paul's speaking about his faith, and his faith be accounted as righteousness, not at the completion of the work, but even at the beginning, at the onset of it. Why? Because the faith of Abraham and Father Abraham being the father of the faith sets this example for us of what it means to operate, to do the will of the Father, not to just simply acknowledge the authority of God, but to desire to do the will of God. Father Abraham, not looking for the affirmation of men, Father Abraham, not looking for a reward from God, but rather out of pure devotion and recognition, the goodness, the holiness, the sovereignty of God, this is his sole motivation. It causes us to recall when the Apostle James, he speaks of the fallen one. He says, you believe in one God, you do well, even the devil believes and trembles. We should be careful, because it isn't sufficient to acknowledge the authority of God, because the devil, the fallen one, ignore, acknowledges the authority of God. The fallen one doesn't do the will of God. The fallen one isn't interested in doing the will of God. The fallen one has his own plans, and make no mistake, the fallen one sees his plans as the better, as the higher good. So in the same way, fallen ones, plural, seek to impress their psychology upon us. They seek to get us to think like they think. That our way of doing things is actually the higher and better way. It becomes very pernicious because we're calling on the Lord, we're going to services, we're doing the things we need to do, and yet, are we really pursuing the will of God, or are we rather pursuing our will? Are we going about the things that God has given to us in the way that we want to do them? If you pay attention to what I just said there, notice it said going about the things that God gave you, but the way that you want to do them. You see, the timing in which you are given something, the way you go about it, that sometimes matters more than anything else. Yuren the Ephraim of Kotunakia, he is enraptured in prayer, ecstasy. And someone says to him, can you please get the bread out of the oven? And Yuranda Ephraim, he says, Yes, yes, just one, just one moment. The grace is gone. Why? Was he being disobedient? Most of you would probably say no. Most would probably say no. He, was, he said he was going to go and do it. He's about to go do it. But the reality is, was that obedience is life. And so, Yerunda Ephraim recognizes he should have just got up and obeyed. It's 
that subtle, my sons and my daughters. Which is why I say to you, we can be doing the things that God has given us, but if we're doing it in a way that we want to do it, it is as disobedience. It is as disobedience. I will bring you another reflection. Remember the older brother in the story of the prodigal son. Did he not do everything that his father told him? Was he not faithful? He was. But where was his heart? Truth. You see? So this is important for us to understand because so much of the irritation and the bitterness that can pop up in us religious people, this is the source of it. This is the source of it. We as religious people, quote unquote, doing our ministries, doing our stuff, going to services, checking our boxes, all the good stuff, these are good things. But we're going about it, not in the way the Lord would have us to go about it, but in our way. And so when we're going about it in our way, and then somebody like Jesus gets in our way, do you see? We become so frustrated and irritated and you think you're frustrated and irritated with your children. You think you're frustrated and irritated with your boss or with your employees or with whoever. But really, you're irritated with your master. Because he's trying to show you you're going about it your way. So remember, not everyone who calls on me, Lord, Lord, but rather those who do the will of my Father to do the will of the Father isn't just to do the thing that he does to tell you to do. Wrote obedience like an animal. To obey from the inward portion. This is the faith of Abraham. This is the faith of the angels. And this is the faith of those who obey out of love. To the first the Holy Apostle, Jude, St. Paisios, Jesus Christ, to God, have mercy on us.